Hi, I'm Jitin. Welcome to Tech News. Google I.O. 2021 kicked off earlier this week. And here is a list of the top six major product announcements that were my favorite. One of the fascinating things coming out of Google I.O. this year is Lambda, a conversational language model built on Google's neural network architecture called Transformer. Unlike other language models trained to answer queries, Lambda is trained in dialogue and can engage in free-flowing conversations on pretty much any topic. A simulation of the pre-recorded conversation with Lambda was shown at the I.O. Uh, acting as planet Pluto, it was pretty natural and something that current voice assistants would have a hard time understanding and parsing. What else do you wish people knew about you? I wish people knew that I am not just a random ice ball. I am actually a beautiful planet. Well, I think you're beautiful. I am glad to hear that. I don't get the recognition I deserve. Sometimes people refer to me as just a dwarf planet. Don't let it bother you. You're amazing. Thank you for the kind words. I appreciate it. Eventually, Google will use Lambda in Google Assistant, Search, and is looking into ways to give developers access to this futuristic platform. Google is adding a new collaboration tool to workspaces, Smart Canvas. It looks like a mix of Google Sheets, Docs, and the task managing service, Asana, with integration to Google Meet. This means that you will be able to join a Meet video call while collaborating with a Google Doc Sheet or Slide Google Meet is also receiving noise cancellation improvements, video quality features that rely on AI for lighting, framing and focusing, and translations. Even if many places in the world are easing up on COVID-19 restrictions, there is still a need for better remote conferencing tools as the world is more connected than ever. Meet Project Starline. Google's project that uses 3D imaging to make video calls feel like you're talking to someone in person. Google demonstrated Project Starline, which uses high-resolution cameras and depth sensors to create a real-time 3D model of a person who is sitting across you to create this feeling of having a face-to-face -face meeting. This year, Google is bringing few features to Google Photos, a new AI feature called Little Patterns. These patterns will surface photos in your account that have three similar objects, for example, coffee mounts, and then group them into photo albums. Google Photos will also let you lock your private photos in a secure folder that can only be accessed by you. This is coming to Pixel phones first and later to other Android devices. Finally, Google Photos is working on a tool that makes it easy to remove a certain person or time frame in your life from your photos. For instance, hiding an ex who keeps showing up in your memories. I'm not sure if all of you are aware, but cameras are terrible at handling white balance for non-white faces, and AI hasn't helped solve this problem as well. Google may have a solution to this problem in their capture and computational photography algorithm for darker skin tones and curly hair. Google revealed a new health tool that lets you take a photo of a problem skin area and answer questions about their skin type and symptoms to help you better identify skin conditions. Google aims to launch a pilot of the tool later this year. Google officially showcased its new design language, Material U, and Android 12 will flaunt a brand new Material U design with a whole lot of new changes. It offers a lot of colors and customizations. It also offers some new privacy features, including a new privacy dashboard. These were our top six from this year's Google I.O. I've barely scratched the surface of these updates. There are more details that I can cover in a separate video and make individual videos for each of them if it helps you. Now, for a quick glimpse at product announcements that deserve an honorable mention. Password managers to now include password importer functionality uh, from other applications, deeper integration across Chrome and Android with password alerts for breaches and a quick fix feature for that in Chrome. Wear OS will now be a unified platform for Samsung, Fitbit, and Google. And Wear OS will be getting a major uplift update this year. Select Pixel and Samsung Galaxy phones running Android 12 later this year will be able to use their phones to unlock their car. Maps will get smarter by introducing new eco-friendly routes and safer routing based on road, weather, and traffic conditions. Google is collaborating with Shopify to revamp shopping experience completely by allowing you to continue your shopping 
right where you left off. Google search will also get an uplift. For example, you could now search for a specific item from just a screenshot. There were a series of developer focus announcements, which I'm not going to list in this video, but happy to cover it in a separate video. Google I.O. did not cover anything to do with Stadia, Pixel Buds, Pixel Watch, and the new Nest Hubs. These could be revealed alongside Pixel 6 release later next year. Which announcements were your favorites? And is there a specific topic that you would like me to cover? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers. Wow. <laughs>